but our players are locking in. Looks like All right. we are yeah, getting... we're going on to Battlefield for game one, and we got a Palutena versus a Lucina. These are both characters that, you know, if you have the right pilot, you can rarely go wrong with them. They're both very solid in what they do. Yeah, but they're like overall pretty dang good. Um, but hold up. Oh, okay. Bar Bar's starting things off. Well, that was a bit of a strange FB, unless like Wolfram was just simply just trying to get them off. Mm -hmm. Um, but hey, Bar Bar's uh, racking up some good damage already having them at 62%. Make that 75. Try to get that up there, but no. Still going, absolute. still going. Oh. That, 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 that is something. That <laughs> yeah, that is something you have to be aware of when you're fighting Marth or Lucina. Just like I have an invincible combo break at any moment. So yeah. if it's not a true, as in the red counter combos, then mm. uh, I'm getting out for free. Yeah. Unless they read it, and but then whoop. you can there set up for that. that first stock right there. And not not even a minute into the match. <laughs> Not, not nicely done by bars. And hey, I asked for that, that up B in this like, advance. Oh yep, they're pulling out and out a bit too much. I think I was actually about to mention, like, yo, if if Wolfric just keep, keeps on like pulling out, then bars could definitely take a great advantage of that, uh -huh. especially with, with some pilot tennis tools, so, especially uh, with her up air. <clears throat> oh, man. Kind of had the, had the right idea with, with that jump. But hey, no, no worries. Still managed to get the up air off. Dash tag into. All right, good re grab. Ooh. See, there, there it is. Yep, yet again. And then there, there comes a point where your percent so high that if you flub a combo, you will just straight die for it if you're facing outward to ledge. Yeah. Uh, what, good air dodge. That was excellent on his part. Not going for the not going for the back throw. Hmm. But you know, whoop. Yep, another up air. And there goes that second stock just like that. Damn, we're, we're already getting clo close to the end of this first game. Wolfric, uh, I did see him, like, toss his head by, like, ugh. So the mental might already be uh, taking a hit, which you don't want to. You yeah. don't want that to show in your game one because that can snowball so, so quickly. Yeah, and, like, hey, look, as I, as I tend to say, look, it ain't over until it's actually over. And then, and then this is only just game one. Can't, However. Can't, can't be given up just yet. Wolfric does need uh, something. Okay, there, that's something, all right. Yeah, for, for sure. I had more to say that. Wolfric's like, no. Yeah, I'm going to take Wolf this right Wolfric now. Wolfric just got to chill a little bit with um, th those little upbees in the uh, disadvantage state. Because with, with how often they're pulling them out, like, bars could really punch them hard for it. Pretty good. That was, that was good awareness, knowing that he was going to go for the scoop. Okay. Isn't there? Hold on. Hold on. Let's let trap, Chief. Okay. Grab. What is Wolf of Cookies? Ah, uh, try, try to get the day, but nope. Not it. Uh, mm. uh, it seemed like what Wolf was trying to just play more sort of reactively. Yeah. It just mm. seemed like they, like they were just trying oh, to wait shit. for Bar Bars to just mess up, but Bars just came right, right in with that attack. I said, wish nope. they reacted to that uh, missed grab. That could have been a hearty punish. Okay. Whoop. Okay, not oh. really getting punished for it. All right, all right. Fuck it. If, if you're in a situation like Wolfric, hey, fuck it. We, we take those. I guess on, catch on another minute. dash tag, but Wolfric's still living. All right. Ooh, nice catch. Is that going to do it? Ooh, yep. That Nicely it, done by bars. Ni ni nice use of the little back airs. Um, uh, wow. Uh, oh, Wolfric was at ledge, mm -hmm. and 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 even the, their positioning like, after all those back is just like right, it was right in the perfect spot to get that uh, to get that grab off and seal the deal on that last stock with that back throw. Very nice to do bars. And we're gonna see some replay. See how all these stocks dropped, how it came to be. This was yep. back. Oh, oh no, 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 no. It's right, a whole different right. Moment. That's kind of the danger you face when you're. Uh, fighting Pal on Battlefield because she has means of extending her hitboxes mm. by catching jumps. Battlefield yeah. is an essential ban against Palutena, in my opinion. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I would I, kind of agree, I, I especially just, with, given like her her little combos and setups, yeah. like, and especially that up here. Oh, no. I just ban on instinct because platforms oh, in the wait. game are bad. Wait, but hold up, we switching over to Crom. Okay. Uh, could be just in. Match? Just could just be an awakening fan. I respect it. Or my game. father. <laughs> <laughs> and now Wolfric. Uh, <laughs> Crime just pulled up and be like, "What the hell are you doing to my daughter?" 
pull out the crumb from the fire ember. Let's see if it uh, makes a little more headway here. Hollow Bastion, I think, is actually a good stage choice because, like, yes, Powell can still extend off of the middle platform, but it's nowhere near as bad as, say, Smashville. Mm. Especially not as bad as PS2, no. Now, nice, catch, nice catch on that, on that jump with that nair and even oh, the back no. end. Oh my god, this is quite jump. some damage. That explosive flame almost caught and it, but you're gone. Mm -mm. no need for the explosive flame because they managed to get that counter off and a bit of that nair too. I, I, perhaps the nair was, may have been a bit unnecessary. I, I'm not so sure Did about just that. To, but just I, to secure it. I mean, I guess so. Here's although, the problem. Although it, it, it may have been a bit risky because hey, <laughs> gotta worry about Chroma P. That C. I, I am a firm belief that Krom is a very good character. I couldn't give you an exact huh. number because I don't believe in numbers in this game anymore, frankly. Not the not the person behind the other side of the screen. That guy's great. But the like tier numbers and whatnot. Cause, you know, if you're skilled enough, you can make with any character. Yeah. Like hell, this this may just be like the most bounced smash that game we got. Oh and goodbye. Oh no, um, still alive. And and, and Krom definitely has some pretty dang go. nice tools. Like Hey, it's 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 Roy without the sour spot, but with a different upbeat. Okay, that, that that alone is all already pretty dang good. I really, unfortunately, didn't pan out because Ether is very very telegraphed as a upbeat recovery move. But I like the forward to like hurt box shift himself in the middle of the stage to minimize, you know, the margin of error for snapping ledge. Just didn't pan out though, and that's kind of the danger you play with this character. As I was saying, like he's very good, I believe, but you need to have like great sense of neutral. You need to know how to play the middle stage, excuse me, the uh, mid-range rather, extremely well so you can maximize on situations like this. Hold on. Ooh. Oh, wow, wow, barely, that counter didn't barely, even work. Barely. What the heck? Dang, all right, well, I guess that, that may be a bit of a we take those for a Wolfric. But the second the second you start backing yourself into a corner, I guess characters like Palutena, that's already a problem. Yeah. Wow, barely. May maybe. Although, although, yeah, you, you do have tools like your, your forward air, your nair, oh, ooh, mm. and even the back air right there. But now, hold up, Wolfric's still living. Oh, no, a BR shield right there. Huh. Probably didn't believe in it. And your last yeah. stock for winter side, I probably wouldn't pull the trigger either. <laughs> but that would probably do it. But yep. With a. It almost definitely did. Quick TO in a three stock on the second game. The first set of the night going to Bars the Journey. Nicely done by Bars right there. With <clears throat> with, with, with them just, just catching uh, Wolfric slipping like quite a bit. I especially liked uh, in, in game one with, with with their positioning on that very last stock. Mm -hmm. Like, dang, like they, they were just like throwing out like quite a bit of back airs. I, I believe they, they even like wanted a, a, a roll from a ledge. They, I believe they were trying to just bait that out. Um, and they, they they got what they wanted. Yeah, that right there. I really liked the like the shift there with his uh, forward air, trying to you know make it a little safer. But unfortunately, a character with a counter like Paltan is just going to catch you no matter what. And just reading the jump here, I believe. Yep. Oh, he. Oh, he. Told you. Oh, I don't agree yeah. with that actually. Hold on. Yeah, that's a little rough. Dang. I guess. I, wanna, I guess he's trying like to reposition himself, but. Didn't pan out, unfortunately, but, you know, right. hopefully he will uh, come around and we'll see more of him as Bracket goes on. Now